Hi traders, this is Cynthia of Day Trade Forex bringing you a short video to show you how to mark up your charts with your entry and exits. And um, so first of all, what you do is you go to your toolbar and you cl left mouse click this vertical line and then you drop it onto your chart wherever you made your entry. So say you had a perfect entry here however the green line is for going long and this was a short entry so here's how you change it just double click on the line itself and then right mouse click to open up the drop box choose vertical line properties and here's where you can change your color of your vertical line here's where you can change the thickness of your vertical line and then just click OK then double click well you can move it while you have these little white squares here you can move it uh, but when you're sure of where you want it I'm left mouse clicking and dragging it just double click it and that'll fix it in place now say you want to add a vertical line for your long trade so go back and click your vertical line drop it into wherever it was that you entered you can double click it and move it again right mouse click it choose vertical line properties change the color to lime green for a long entry okay and then you have it where you want it so just double click it and that fixes it in place so that's how you would drop your uh, red vertical line in for a short entry and your green vertical line in for a long entry now I'll show you how to make your uh, little exit uh, marks on your chart so you go to the trend line on your toolbar left mouse click it say this was your first exit right here on this key level now see that's a nice little short trend line um, if you left mouse click it twice then you can look at the properties and change them so click trend line properties and in order for this to be a short little line the ray box has to be unchecked. If you check it and then click OK, you're going to have this big long thing, which is great for a trend line because that's what it actually is. But we're not going to really use it in this instance for a trend line. So just right mouse click on it and uncheck that ray box. And then if you want to turn uh, the color, if it's any other color when you first start doing this, this is where you choose the white color and this is where you can choose the uh, the um, width of the line don't make it too wide because uh, I don't want it to cover up anything I like to see the open high low close or the open and close of these trend bars okay so now you want to possibly you took a second exit here so now when you go and choose trend line and drop it in the properties are already set and fixed now uh, say you want to mark up your charts with some text so uh, it uh, is like a journal for you telling you what you did you don't have to go to your account history to see that you can see right on your chart plus it tells me exactly what you did if you send this screenshot to me so you can go to on your toolbar either click A or click text either one it doesn't matter drop it in in the text field type in what you did so you went short say with two mini lots short 0 0.20 okay that's all you have to do and double click it and then you can move it around okay place it where or you can even right mouse click it and you can change how big or how small the text is okay so and then to fix it in place just double click it again that little dot goes away now you want to tell me that you exited half of your trade here so go back to A drop in the text and type in closed 0 0.10 so now I know that you closed half your trade there and say you want to tell me that you closed the other half of the trade here even though it seems obvious at this point close point 0.10 okay so now however I know that now you're completely out of this trade so um, 
that's how you would mark up your chart. Uh, you can do the same thing for your long exits here and that's a very easy way to um, keep a journal for yourself and also at a glance I can see your screenshot and I'll know exactly what you did so you can ask me what did I do right what did I do wrong well please don't send me questions saying what did I do right because that'll be obvious you would have had a good trade now let me show you how to take a screenshot uh, using Jing hopefully you've already downloaded it and on your uh, screen you're gonna have a, a yellow Sun at the top and you put your cursor over it and you get these three things um, here's where you can go view your history so anytime you take a screen capture a screenshot the history of it's going to be in here you can go get the URL again anytime you want so but for now to take a screenshot you click capture then it gives you these crosshairs and you can select the screen area that you want to take a picture of so just choose your screen area down here click on capture image in the left corner now click on in the left corner share via screencast.com and now it's going to upload to screencast and this is your own account and you'll always have a history of each screenshot that you've taken and now that it's uploaded to your account um, it's put this uh, URL of a screenshot onto your clipboard. Now you can write an email and just paste uh, directly before you do anything, paste this into maybe Notepad or something so you can save it that way. And then send that URL to me in an email and, and ask your question. And then I can just click the URL and then the screenshot will come up and I can see at a glance if you've marked up your chart it's very very easy for me to analyze what you've done wrong and you can ask your questions and I can answer you and it won't take very much of my time because I do get dozens of emails every day and it takes up quite a bit of my time and energy and I'm happy to do this for you but you uh, can make it much easier for me and quicker for me to help you if you can learn how to mark up your charts like this and send me the screenshot. So I would really appreciate it. Plus, it, like I said, it's a little journal for you and you need to get in the habit of going back and analyzing your trades. You'll learn quicker what to do right, what wrong things to avoid. So anyway, that's how you do these things. So thanks very much for watching and I hope you get a lot of great trades in this week and we'll talk to you in another training video. Thanks a lot. Bye.